Welcome everyone and thank you for joining us for today's webinar. My name is Alexander Schröder and I'm in the Sales and Project Management here at ABB Mannheim. And today we are going to listen to our third tech talk. It's about HSI system upgrades. And the tech talk is presented from us from the Power Generation ABB Mannheim team. We are still presenting it uh, from home as we are working remote. During the last months, we had uh, difficulties visiting you, our customers, uh, all over the world. And we decided to help this online uh, sessions and give you some tech talk. On the next slide, you will get a short overview for our today's presentation. The presentation will take around 60 minutes. The first 45 minutes will be the presentation itself and the last 50 minutes will be open for questions. On the right hand side, you see a Q&A box where you can ask your questions and in the end, we will come back to that. This event is hosted via WebEx, so you're all muted and you cannot unmute yourself. Our event is also being recorded, so you can watch it afterwards again on our Tech Talk landing page. On the right hand side, you see again a picture of myself and on the left hand side from my colleague Robert Detmer, who will be presenting today. But before I hand over to Robert, I will hand over to our manager, Peter, to say a few words. Okay, thank you, Alexander. Good morning. Um, good morning to everybody. And uh, again, a very, very warm welcome to our now third Tech Talk session. Today. <laughs> um, I'm again very pleased to meet you uh, in this new virtual format. So, but uh, let me briefly introduce um, our team and myself. Um, my name is Peter Beer. I'm 20, uh, 50, 52 years old, not 20, uh, 52 years old and part of the ABP family since approximately yeah, 30 years now in different roles. Um, now in the role as a manager responsible for the service in global markets, um, I'm, ahead, I'm heading a team of dedicated service managers. You can see in the picture. In ABB Power Generation Germany, we are supporting our installed base customers since the early 1990s. And worldwide, we are addressing customers in roughly approximately 60 uh, countries with products, services related to our, to, to our um, automation and electrical systems. Health and safety on the next slide is one of our most valuable topics within ABB. And as you know, the global pandemic is changing everything, also the communication to you. Therefore, we chose the virtual communication platform, but of course, we are looking forward to meet you again personally. I would start with a so-called safety moment. Some basic messages regarding health and safety are shown on this slide. First, let me point out that the ABB is committed to higher standards regarding health and safety. Looking at ourselves, our employees and contractors are equipped, trained and instructed to, full, to fulfill highest performance regarding health and safety. But also being at your at customer side, ABB will fulfill customer health and safety and local country regulations, for example, regarding COVID-19. And this is very important, an important obligation during this pandemic. But we need also your valuable contrib uh, contribution Please support and guide ABB regarding your local rules in order to follow the common goals of health and safety. Finally, our target is to ensure safe work environment and to create a culture of health and safety that supports an optimal business performance for customer and ABB. As a summary, we can say ABB is targeting a zero incident policy regarding health and safety. So finally, I wish you a very interesting and fruitful Tech Talk session today. Uh, we are presenting a very special topic our tech, in our Tech Talk session, the upgrade of human system interfaces, HSI systems. For that, I would hand over to my colleague, Robert, who will lead us through the presentation. Thank you again. Robert, please go ahead. Yes, hello, good morning. Um... As um, Pete already said, my name is uh, Robert, Robert Detmer. I'm working for ABB now since um, more than 30 years. Um, I was uh, working in 
Asia. I was um, having projects in Middle East, in um, Europe, and lately in Africa with different um, control systems, um, but preferably, or my preference was um, P14 Pro Control. Today, I would like to um, talk about some things that um, I am allowed to um, present about HSI upgrades, some news, uh, some new developments, some new things. Um, I would uh, try to briefly give an in introduction before then coming into um, the highlight of process operation. I'm going to try to touch engineering and um, asset management and diagnosis before then um, trying to give you some examples to sum it up. And uh, at the end, we're going to have some minutes to answer your questions as far as I can. So first um, topic today, as Peter already said, is HSI system upgrades. This means that we will focus today on those upper parts, the computer systems and servers um, that are on top of the um, P14 remote bus, which is on one hand process operation, the engineering side, and interesting as well, the asset management with remote connection. What kind, uh, what is the motivation for today? Um, what are the difficulties that we are facing or that our customers are facing? Um, this is um, on one hand, um, the um, typical hardware faults or um, stop of manufacturing of spare parts, which is obvious. Um, we sometimes face software falls in in our systems like in every computer system or even some engineered faults which usually disappear after several years of um, running operating systems we sometimes have uh, um, the need of some new connectivities or some new features that uh, customers would like to see or would like to connect to their own um, network, to their own office network. On the other hand, we have um, a lack of um, knowledge because knowledge is fading due to retirement of um, people because um, realizing that Pro Control was um, starting in 1977, not everybody is still willing <coughs> willing to work who started with the uh, pro control p14 we have a um, um we have a risk of uh, human errors in all um, levels of um, all levels of plant stuff from operators over maintenance to even up to the management and we do sometimes um have the danger of uh, sabotage or uh, even attacks. How do we deal with that? Um, for the first section, um, it is easily said it's um, spare parts to stock spare parts locally on site to provide um, some patches um, to fix some cybersecurity issues and to upgrade or update your system and to keep your system active by migration or evolution. For the second part, um, the, the measures are slightly different. We would um, provide training to 
uh, compensate the lack of knowledge. We um, advise to make you have a service contract um, with ABB to have that knowledge again. Um, and uh, for the last uh, for the last part, you should uh, think about cybersecurity and do a um, security assessment to figure out where are the weak points. When we were talking about evolution, uh, you, sh you sh should see here the standard um, life cycle of um, ABB that ABB is trying to apply to all systems where uh, individual components are usually released and um, being active uh, up to some years going to classic then going to be um, limited and finally obsolete but always with the option to um, stay within the same system to stay within pro control p14 and stay active by um, upgrades or migration. When we were talking about the risks, and um, I mean, as a customer, your target should be to try to operate your plan. You will see that uh, on average, uh, at about 5% of um, the plant production is lost because of unscheduled downtimes. And this can be avoided or is avoidable in 80% of the cases, whereas of nearly half of it um, is caused by human errors. We are trying to deal with that one throughout uh, this presentation today. Um, and we're going to differentiate between some two scenarios uh, means a short term scenarios. Uh, <coughs> we do have several plants, especially in Germany and in Europe, where um, the whole setting of the um, energy market is changing and plants after some 40 or 45 years are simply going to be shut down. Here we would only um, look for the spare parts to um, check the log files and system warnings again. And um, most probably, yeah, we would do some partial upgrades um, even for a short term um, operation, means um, some two, three years. However, if we come to a long term operation of your power plant, then we definitely recommend um, to keep your system up to date, to keep your system active and um, to migrate your system to, to the last today's standard. According to our life cycle management and uh, don't forget about um, keeping your stuff well trained and try to have um, full support of ABB by a service contract. So let's go into the details now. The first, the first um, part was uh, process operation before engineering and asset management. In Pro Control P14 systems, um, we are um, having three different types of HMI, human machine interface systems installed, which is our classic POS 30 system, well proven. And um, I would say, yeah, we, we fix all errors in that system up to now. Then we have our mainstream platform A200XA with P14 Connect. This uh, platform was uh, created um, to have a common platform for all ABB um, control systems, automation solutions, 
which has um, high performance and especially a very flexible user configurable operator interface and workplaces with some um, nice features um, just uh, with a click on the left on the right mouse button with the context menu which uh, features um, um, extensive alarm and event management to reduce the human errors and to which provides a configurable trend displays for uh, even runtime and historical data. Then the third system we have um, S plus operations with uh, P14 Connect. Um, that solution or that HSI platform um, is characterized by a scalable and uh, fault tolerant design, which um, has a connectivity for uh, our main automation systems in power plants, which is Melody, Harmony, and of course, ProControl P14. S Plus Operations uh, also has um, um, sophisticated alarm management according to ISA SP 18.2 standards and offers um, a nice integration to SAP with electronic shift books. POS 30. POS 30 is um, our operator station um, based on uh, SUSE Linux. So it's a Linux system um, based on the server version. Um, at the moment, right now, the latest release is based on SP5, Service Pack 5 for the enterprise version of Linux with improved password policy, um, which monthly security patches which we are still pre-testing here in ABB and then releasing to our customers. However, the last version um, 8.2 of our POS is based on uh, SLES 12 and thereby uh, is um, having some or is going to come up with um, difficulties in providing supported hardware soon. Therefore, it was decided that uh, the product support for POS 30 will be limited to uh, October 2024. That's um, in that means in turn that uh, we need to complete update projects for POS 30 to the last version 8.2 before October uh, 23. That's a simply legal matter. Alternatively, um, we offer you to migrate to 800XA operation with P14 Connect. So this alternative of 800XA operations is at the moment released in version uh, 6.1.1 means it's already, um, it's, it's, not, uh, it's not a new design, but it's a proven solution already. This is um, a Microsoft Windows based multi-server architecture where we are splitting the task for uh, user management into the domain server for the connectivity of various DCS systems or automation system even simultaneously with the connectivity service and where we are going to have a third section uh, which is handled by the aspect server um, which is performing the visualization, the presentation for the um, for the operator of the process data. HRNXA is our main system for all ABB control systems, including even third-party systems, um, 
because we introduced an OPC UA server, a unified architecture uh, of, UPC, uh, of OPC, which allows um, connection to any PCS. And A-TRENDXA offers the, the possibility that um, with a right mouse click, you can select any 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 kind of information, like for example, um, data sheets for a measurement. You can um, connect video streams. Uh, you can connect um, the history of um, of uh, process data. Whatever you whatever kind of information you would like to uh, like to see, you can simply you simply have it at your right mouse button. HNDXA with uh, P14 Connect was previously based on a um, subset of, um, of um, POS 30, um, which, had, um, which had some difficulties because of um, mixing Linux and Windows system. This is no longer the case. We do now have a native Windows-based uh, Slim CPS solution, which is um, which is purely Windows-based. Eight hundred XA for a power plant. What you see here is. Um, um, Control room and operator station um, that uh, operate a workplace the way we uh, like to see that our customers with um, <coughs> with uh, again with uh, very flexible um, context menu with uh, Atronix A has a very uh, flexible structure too. You are um, you are not bound to any any um, hierarchy that is um, given by cabling or wiring or uh, process or location, but um, you can set up your own your own structure and your own way of uh, maneuvering the displays and uh, jumping from A to B the way you would like to. In HRNX A, we do have um, also uh, an integration of um, IEC uh, 61850 for the intelligent electronic devices, the IEDs. And um, one highlight is um, the KPI calculation, the key performance indicators for alarm analysis to improve the alarming for the operators and um, to see where things are eventually um, having a potential to be improved process wise or um, way where the operators can um handle things can act in a faster way to fix errors we are leaving process operation and um, come to the next part engineering um the engineering of of your plant is most probably done during commissioning however some um modifications uh still require um, PDDS, our uh, engineering stations. Um, we had some we had some difficulties with the serial interfaces in the past and thereby released a new version PDDS 7.0, which now comes uh, with um, Ethernet connection. Uh, so it, it is all seamless 
networking between the um, um, between the engineering system and the control system. And the PDDS is now based on the latest version of Windows, um, ATSC 2019. ATSC means uh, long-term service release, uh, which has a longer support. We um, we have some customers, uh, some clients that uh, are using EDS engineering. Um, EDS uh, is a platform which is um, which is going to be removed from the market. We would like you to upgrade to P14 engineering instead. Uh, reason is, uh, on one hand, um, the security issues, um, the safety issues, and um, active development uh, nowadays is done on P14 engineering. P14 engineering has all the capabilities that EDS already had, plus the feature of um, Reimporting your existing plant data from the um, I/O and control modules, and present them again as a function chart. We had some um, engineering systems uh, and KISS installed with, uh, which already offered that. Um, um, re-engineering, reloading of module data. Um, but uh, the older versions uh, were based on older Windows versions, causing um, some security issues. That's why we do recommend you to upgrade to P14 engineering as well which is the successor system of KISS uh, with um, pretty similar features and um, pretty similar look and feel, but now based on um, Ethernet communication and, of course, based on the latest uh, Windows version of Microsoft. So this is uh, P14 engineering. Yeah, that's something. That's good. Asset management and diagnosis. Um, the first, uh, the first tool, the essential tool, in fact, to get um, knowledge of um, the condition of your control system of the P14 um, modules installed in in the cabinets is the CDS. CDS is the essential tool for collecting all statuses of all I.O. and control modules in one place, in one, in fact, in one display. And then maneuvering down to the details um, of the status of the modules in case there are um, some problems. So in, with CDS, uh, with CDS, you can, you do have system monitoring and um, analyzes facilities that uh, that an alarm line on the POS 30 cannot provide. This system CDS is uh, meant especially for maintenance. And we released a new version of uh, CDS, uh, which is now equally based on Ethernet with a TS51 operating on latest Windows and um, including support of the latest modules, like for example, the TP50 for uh, Modbus. Um, we implemented uh, the, a new um, bus load detection for FTDI bus. Um, so it's, yeah, that's the tool for maintenance must have. S plus 
historian um, is the successor of um, the previous uh, PGM and Optimax systems, uh, which were used to, as a platform to, um, to house our solutions um, and offering the, the basic functionality of archiving, reporting, and the digital, digital shift book. Espresso historians offers, of course, as well, the um, KPI performance calculations, which are then going to um, make it easy to give some, to provide some numbers for the management. Um, it's housing the solutions uh, or joining the solutions like um, Boiler Life and Boiler Max, our combustion optimization, and has been all this has been upgraded now to the um, Windows Server version 2019 as well. One neat feature is uh, within the new version of Espresso Historian is the so-called pocket portal, where you can um, simply, as long as your tablet is connected to your uh, to, to the HMI network, you can then run around with the tablet and see the process information um, on the tablet itself. It's not uh, it's not a, it's not possible to operate, but uh, for monitoring, um, it's a pretty nice feature especially uh, when combined with an um, alarm portal. For when it comes to asset management and diagnosis, um, the main, one of the main instruments to help our clients, to help our customers is the remote access platform to quickly dive into the system, into your system to identify the fault and to um, tell you what is the solution in case you have a failure. Um, since over the last years, in, in fact, um, this remote access platform has been continuously developed according to best practices and industry standards to have a really secure connection through internet from ABB to you, or better said, from you to ABB by implementing on first um, the same demilitarized zone at, um, at your side, at the customer that we have installed at ABB. So we are providing you with the same security that we have as ABB as well. And on top of that, this remote connection can only transfer data if you are pressing the button that, yes, we want to invite ABB. We want ABB to connect to our system. Otherwise, there is no, no data, no nothing getting into your system with this remote access platform. Why do we need that remote access platform? Um, it is the, the basis for a remote service contract. It is the way we provide um, the security patches for um, the complete HSI systems. It is uh, helpful when trying to perform the security assessment, the system assessment, and um, to provide you with some system health reports, which you can then um, check out at uh, my ABB, my uh, system portal. So let's try to have a look on some examples. Um, 
assume that uh, you're trying to shut down your plant in, let's say, some two, three years in 2024. We still recommend you to upgrade to the latest POS version 8.2. And uh, to double check uh, the spare parts for the remaining um, time of plant operation um, to secure the um, availability of spare parts for hard disks and for network interfaces. As I said, the hardware is starting to, to become difficult to be available on the market. Um, the, on the engineering side, um, you should nevertheless upgrade to um, the latest PDDS version 6.5. And uh, depending whether you have um, EDS or KISS to upgrade to the latest versions of EDS uh, 7.2, um, as well as um, KISS 11.1. And then the maintenance and um, diagnostic tool CDS to install or upgrade to version 6.2, <clears throat> which is then going to make you have all the engineering and diagnosis system um, on up-to-date uh, versions of uh, Microsoft Windows. Last but not least, we uh, recommend you to have um, the OEM support for your system via uh, a service contract, uh, which allows us to provide you with faster support um, by, um, by reducing the commercial, um, commercial discussions, because that one would then already be Aside, we can then quickly react on your problems. The benefits for those upgrades are um, if we come to process operation, you can, you have a POS 30, which is um, a, a very long proven platform um, and running stable. You have um, operators which are already used to the POS system. So there is no need for, um, there is no need for learning uh, any new interface, um, but you, you, you keep what, uh, you can keep what you have already. And it means you can use, the, you can use your knowledge. Why still upgrade to 8.2? Um, because it's going to make support easier, um, software and hardware-wise. This case is uh, of, of three years is is valid for some for some plants in in Germany. However, the majority of our customers will have a plant uh, which is supposed to run some seven years until 28 or even later. Those customers we would um, recommend to um, keep their system active by migrating to 800XA operations, including some operator training to really be able to take benefit of the new features that 800XA is offering. This is going to be our active system. So it's not, uh, there is no lifetime limitation. This is going to be continuously upgrade since it's valid for all of our DCS systems. On the engineering and asset management side, um, you should upgrade to P14 engineering as stated before. Uh, you may have, uh, you may want to have a look into the Modbus configuration tool, which uh, offers a very flexible way to 
um, handle your interfaces to a third party system, your Modbus communication, and to add some signals or remove some signals, or simply resource signals or fix communication problems. Then we, um, we recommend you to upgrade your um, CDS for the module diagnosis and maintenance to the latest version 6.2 and to upgrade your historian system to S plus historian. On the support side for the remote services, um, the best solution will be that uh, you're going to come up or that we are going to come up uh, with a service contract um, that is offering you not only um, solutions in case of failure, but is going to assist you when um, you're trying to improve your installation, to improve your your system by recommending um solutions where uh, your system appears to become weak <coughs> for that for that it is very very much recommended to have this remote access platform because that is the main tool to have a look into your system and um to reduce the risk uh, we recommend you to make a cybersecurity assessment of your uh, HMI system installed um, in the control room or electronic room or even your office network uh, to ensure that um, your system, your network is secured the way it can be secured. And then um, why not sign up for my ABB, my control system portal to see online um, how is your status of your system. So those, uh, all these um, upgrades, all these measures are um, intended to provide you with benefits like uh, supporting newer modules to be make to enable you to optimize uh, process operation to reduce downtimes or to even avoid downtimes by predictive uh, maintenance so the way forward the way forward um, is that um, you're going to work on the um, migration tool questionnaire and to fill out your data. Where do you get that forms? Uh, you simply send me an email and I'm going to reply um, with that, uh, uh, with the migration forms, depending on your needs. You're good. After you filled in your, your plant data, um, you're going to then resubmit that forms to your, to one, to one of my colleagues in, in uh, our service department, um, or to me myself, so that we can jointly discuss uh, which, uh, which options for upgrades are really suitable in your case for your installations and what are the costs involved, what, uh, what can be done, how fast, um, so that you're able to plan your budget, uh, to, plan, um, to plan the, the deliveries and um, the, insul the final installation at, at uh, your site. All these HSI upgrades are typically done without any outage means uh, your power plan um, is going to continue with um, 
generating electricity, who's generating power. So we sum it up uh, the solutions, how to make your um, power plant have less outages and to continue to be supported, to continue to be active is to either update, upgrade, or to migrate your um, HSI system, depending on what you have installed. Um, in any case, you are not bound to update everything at once. Uh, I mean, um, in, in fact, nearly no, no customer <laughs> would like to change everything um, and, and scrap it all. Instead, we are usually um, upgrading, for example, engineering first, uh, and then do some upgrades on the process operation side um, and improve the features on the um, asset management side. So it can be modernized stepwise. However, important, important um, a tool for us, for ABB, uh, to assist you is uh, the remote access platform so that we can come up with a service contract to help you in a really fast way um, to reduce The plant. Um, we still have a few minutes. Time is far, but uh, a few minutes are left for some questions and answers. Yes, oh, well, and, and we already uh, received uh, some questions here. Okay. L let me start with this one uh, directly to you. Can I place an order for a POS 30 upgrade also after the end of October 2023? After October 20, no. Um, we need to we need to be able to um, finish upgrade projects for POS um, uh, 30 <laughs> version 8.2 before October 23 for legal reasons means we will not be allowed um, to to start a new project okay. afterwards anymore. Okay, good. Clear answer, Robert, thank you. And the next question is very good. Um, following that up, uh, from whom do we request the migrace, migration questionnaire? Yeah, the yeah. migration questionnaire is not downloadable. The easiest way is uh, to simply write an email to either me, myself, or one of my colleagues from uh, from our service department, for example, to you. Okay, yes, thank you. Um, another question is related to S plus historian, the former region. Uh, can I use the S plus historian package only with 800 XA? What is the solution in case I want to keep my POS 30? You can, of course, keep your POS 30. The solution is still S plus historian. Um, S plus historian uh, is working with with all uh, with all DCS or all um, operator stations. Uh, so yes, you can you can still upgrade your S, to S plus historian. Okay, good. Thank you for that. Um, another question: Cybersecurity is an issue for remote connections. How do we ensure that there will be no cyber attack through this connection? First of all, we do um, we do install the same setup, the same uh, mechanism, the same uh, DMZ um, at the customer side, which we do have at ABB already, which we know is working, which we know is safe according to last standards. And on top, 
it is the customer that has to release the connection to ABB in case he wants uh, support. So there is no no other way to get into his system. Okay, good. Thank you. And yes, here's one uh, maybe last question here. Um, you spoke about this uh, 87TS51 uh, module. What are the advantages of this new module? I think it's about this new uh, TS51 R1250. Ah, um, yeah, the, the advantage is simply that we are now having um, um, communication module which is having the net having an ethernet interface um we do not need any um any serial link anymore which um, is uh, slow and uh, which may need uh, to use comp servers in between for faster uh, for longer distances and all these uh, requirements so this is um the new module now that we are going to use. Okay, thank you. Good. So you really see we are live. These were all the questions uh, you ask. We have, I think we have four minutes left. So maybe if you're having one or two questions, we could uh, answer them also. Maybe I can add some some yes. words to the topic cybersecurity. To be on the on the safe side regarding um, cybersecurity, of course, there is much more than uh, having the, uh, let's say, the right in hands of customer side uh, to, to open and close the, the, the Internet link. Um, the threat of cybersecurity is, is, uh, is wide and it's not only related to serial link to the Internet or to a link to the Internet. And, um, um, I only want to point out that this is only one, and of course, the, the, an important topic, but uh, there is much more regarding, for example, um, let's say, um, what we can also offer, and uh, that, that is a complete um, separate presentation of cybersecurity. Um, but it, it's, it's also uh, necessary to update the firewalls and the, the the system versions and also the the virus detection systems you have so it's not only this one issue um we have and um, your customer have to care about this is very important that uh, this is only one of course but important uh, topic so and if you are interested in cybersecurity issues, um, maybe you can join the, the tech talk, uh, the upcoming tech talk. We are planning that for cybersecurity or to address us directly. This, uh, this is uh, yeah, maybe a good way to, to get more information about that. OK, thank you, Peter. Good. Uh, then I thank you all for listening to this tech talk. Um, here you can also see our landing page with the QR code, and you will also receive this uh, in an email in the next days. Now I also want to show you on the next slide our next tech talk. This will be our last one from this session, and it's about the upgrade of ProControl P14 modules, which will be at the end of July. Uh, thank you again for listening to us. Uh, once you close the WebEx with the red x you will get a small survey for this tech talk i appreciate your answer and uh, wish you a good day bye bye thank, thank you. you thank you very much bye -bye. Bye -bye.